This module assists users to clearly and explicitly communicate their purchasing requirements whilst maintaining a record of all purchase orders created in the one location. To begin, click on the Purchase Order button located under the Construction menu. Click on the New button located at the top of the screen. Document Details In this screen, you must enter the details of the purchase order. You have the option of giving this purchase order a particular number or build tools can generate one for you. Please be advised that the internal reference number cannot be amended. Enter the date of the purchase order. You can double click to enter today's date. Continue by entering the required buy date and the expected delivery date. Enter the subject and ensure your name is in the issued buy drop box. You have the option of entering the number of pages. You may also wish to include a standard clause and footnotes. For both the standard clause and footnotes, you can click on the View Existing Data button to import the required information. and attachments. Enter the details of the purchase order and click on the click to attach one or more files button to attach any additional files. Recipients. The Add Recipient screen will automatically appear. Select the recipients, then press on the To button. You can select various recipients and you have the option of selecting the CC or BCC method. Then select the preferred transmitted type. Scroll down menu to select the method the recipient prefers to receive their documents. Once this is completed, click on the Close button. Cost details. Enter each item, a reference number, the quantity, the rate of each item, and tick the box if the item is GST free. Bill tools will calculate the cost, however you will need to fill in the item description. You also have the option of adding an administration charge, which is entered as a percentage and is added to the cost total. You will be able to view the cost total as you add each item. Log. This screen is used to enter any form of communication, for example phone calls, that have occurred between yourself and the recipient so that a record can be maintained. Click on the Enter a New Response button. Type in your response. Then click on the Close button. To ensure that the response remains internal, tick on the internal box. Closing response. This screen is used to enter the final response or conclusion regarding the purchase order. Click on the Save to PDF button located at the top of your screen to save the entire purchase order to a PDF format. Click on the Saved to PDF button along the left hand side of the screen to view your purchase order. Select the document you want to submit and click on the Email Print button. 
Use the top of the screen to select the method you will be sending the purchase order. Then press the Submit button.